Hi guys, this is going to be a demo video of another FMOD music presentation. Um, this is going to be um, my track called The Fall of Arcana, and this is an advanced layers crossfading technique. And the reason why it's a bit advanced is because instead of fading layers in and out, we're actually going to be fading in melody where we want it, we can have melody on or off, and we can switch between different um, instruments playing the melody. Also, we have um, some DSP, digital signal processing, so there's going to be some filters that filters out the entire uh, set of loops here, the entire set of layers, and it's going to go to a completely new loop. It's going to be a little bit intense, but let's start with just playing some of the assets I have. Um, here there's a lot of assets, so it's pretty much um, all of the instruments divided up. Um, we have some of our drums, um, a flute, synth, um, let's see what else we have, some bass, uh, lower brass actually, the guitar, We have a choir. Yeah, we have a choir. And our string ostinato. And we do have our melodies here. Let's see what else we have. We have let's see our interlude part is actually divided up as well. So let's actually just play it here. I have the intensity knob that you saw in the re the other video, the Artemis intensity levels crossfading layers. This is the same exact thing. Um, let me just show you the two choir and the string. And they fade in, and they layer to each other. So the choirs fade in, and these don't fade in till later, towards the middle. And there's a lot more instruments, but you get the idea. So let's play this. Let's add in the choir by turning up the intensity. So this is moving the intensity up. We keep adding more, more intensity. The string ostinato comes in. Let's add even more. Now I do want to say here, I actually fade out the uh, more of the organic sounding drums when it goes to the uh, sort of synth drum sound. Let me see. Um, okay, just wanted to make sure you guys know that I, I stopped it here because when you hear this main drum beat here, let's see if we can solo this. And that electro sort of epic drum beat um, when the knob is all the way up on intensity actually mutes out some of the other drums here. So let me just have that play. It mutes out this one here. So now this one's playing. So basically it pretty much switches which drum, which electro drum is playing. So basically that's the um, basic intensity sort of thing here. So let's actually start it 
way intense where we left off. Slowly we're leaving instruments off. So now we're just back to guitar and choir. Now just the guitar. And now I can show you this. I have a knob here that says Melody Select, which is pretty much, it chooses a melody, which instrument's playing the main melody. And the reason why when it's all the way at the bottom, there's no melody because every all the melody instruments are set to zero. Now when you start moving it up, a melody will start being heard. So let's make, let's, let's see what happens. Let's turn this, let's start this here, the beginning. And I think the first instrument on the melody knob is the string, so let's bring that in just a bit. There it is. Bring the choir in with the drums, maybe. And we can move this to French horn. And I saved the trumpet for last for the full intensity, but that can come in whenever you want. Here we go, we're gonna switch to the trumpet now. back to the French horn, and then back to the strings. So maybe in the game the melody uh, only plays when you have a certain weapon or something like that. It could be for anything, but the idea here is the music is really interactive, it can work really well to help create immersion in a video game. Now there's one more special knob here and this one is a little bit a little bit more advanced and it's not fading everything out it's actually adding a filter so all of these instruments are connected to this cutoff filter so let me show you what this sounds like um, let's see let's loop this epic drum let's solo it and let's play with the filter that's on it Yeah, okay, so this is a cutoff filter, low pass cutoff filter. I'm just playing with the knob. So I have this applied to all of the instruments, so it's going to cut off. While this knob goes up, the cutoff level will go down, cut all these off, and it will fade in this sort of similar loop that actually is the same music, but it's variated, and it sounds more, um, I guess, let's say heavenly. It's a little bit more light. It's really delicate. So maybe this happens when you activate a certain power up or maybe you transition up to the clouds or underwater or something. But the, it gives this effect that it like sort of fades and filters out and brings in this other secondary sort of line. So let's keep this really intense feeling here and let's use this filter to transition to the other um, I guess secondary loop. And we can go back whenever we want to. Usually this is controlled by the player. So it's almost like we landed back down to the ground if we if we jumped up to this, let's say, this um, sort of delicate loop, which is really similar, um, happens when you jump up to the clouds or something, and this comes back when you end up back on the ground. So let's do it one more time. Maybe with the trumpet melody this time.
have it, that is the Fall of Arcana, um, crossfitting layers, a bit more advanced sort of technique for you. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for a tutorial video on this one and more FMOD videos. Thank you.